What's up, y'all? Let's get straight into it. Now, y'all know anytime I hear great news that's happening in the Black Pole, I love to report on it. And this news I heard about the Red Table Talk getting canceled, that is outstanding news. Oh, yeah. Let me break it down to you why I think is outstanding news. I want you to realize, people, the Red Table Talk was poisonous to our community. This is the Black Pole's opinion. The Red Table Talk was misguiding our sisters who was feeding into that straight up garbage. That straight up misinformation. To put it in more layman terms, that straight up bull shit. Why do I say that? These days, I'm very conscious of what's surrounding me and not only me, but my beautiful daughter. It was different before I had a child, and especially a daughter. But how I measure things up now, when I watch them or I see them, or I see what's out there in the world, I ask the simple question, put it to the litmus test, is this something that I want to be influencing my daughter? Is this something I want to be an example for my daughter? Is this something that's going to be productive to her? If it's not, and especially being portrayed by another black woman, I have a problem with that. To me, the only thing that Red Table Talk did was push not only misinformation, but dysfunction. Very dysfunctional. Ask yourself, would you want your family looking like theirs? Not mine. Would you want your wife acting like Will's wife? Not mine. I'm talking from a male's point of view. You understand what I'm saying? Whatever arrangements they had, that's between them. I'm not talking about necessarily cheating. I'm talking about the embarrassment. When that so-called entanglement happened, when she slept with the boyfriend of her daughter and the friend of her son, how many lines was crossed in? And you ask yourself, as a man, would you want your wife or your significant other sleeping with the boyfriend of your daughter? And something else I didn't like about it is the pure hypocrisy of it. Give you a very clear example. Look at Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods was destroyed. Career ruined. He lost millions of dollars. Behind what? Cheating. The man broke no laws. He broke a vow to his wife. What's was wrong? But did he deserve to lose millions and be humiliated? Then you look at the flip side of that coin. Didn't Jada get popularity because she did the same thing the Will cheated on him? It humiliated him for the whole world to see on that red table talk. That man looked like he had been crying. Man, you tell me Will wasn't crying before he came on that show? That's no way to do anybody. Nobody. And I definitely don't think that's the way a wife should be doing her husband. Put out there for everybody to see. That one cute entanglement. If you think I'm wrong, fellas, what you think about your wife coming to you telling about an entanglement she had with your daughter's boyfriend? How you gonna handle that? You gonna get on Facebook Live and let her air it out and make you sit there and take it? Even though y'all had a a less open relationship or whatever y'all had, would you deserve that? Would you stay married to her? Me personally, I'm out of there. That's why I ain't married right now. Because if the situation's bad, I'm quick to get out of that relationship. And a marriage? Man, I know I'm going to get about a marriage fast if it ain't going right. So I don't want to waste all that money all that time So I find the right one. And she won't be having me caught up in no entanglement. So I'm glad that show was canceled. That was not good for black women or black men. You understand? Not good at all. 
And we at a point in our community now that we can't be influenced by bullshit because there's too much going on out here. And a lot of it is costing us our lives, our freedom, our money, and robbing us of our generational wealth. Thank you for tuning in. God bless one team.